I'm going to show you another quick and easy meal pita bread with cottage cheese and spinach for this recipe I'm using shop bought pita bread actually these are pita pockets the little ones so it comes with a tiny pocket so I opened that one then I have two large onions and I'm using frozen spinach thawed and squeezed all the water out or you can use fresh water steamed and um, you can throw the water out and get the spinach like this and a cup of bacon this is optional if you are a vegetarian you can totally omit this one then three eggs and green chilies pepper and a little bit of chili flakes or you can omit the chilies and add pepper only salt and some cottage cheese I have um, 500 grams cottage cheese or you can use ricotta or even um, paneer in this recipe to start this recipe first uh, if you don't have a sandwich press you have to switch on the oven to 200 at this point and I'm going to add the onions into the spinach and then the bacon and the spices sorry and I'm going to break the eggs into that too I added all the ingredients into the mixing bowls slowly I'm going to mix this and if you like you can add parmesan or cheddar cheese too with this to make it very tasty and yummy but I'm using a low fat uh, version of uh, cottage cheese and I fried the bacon a little bit if you are going to use bacon it's already cooked so I mixed it thoroughly and I switched on the sandwich press so put your hand in and just open the pocket and put this in there are two ways you can do it you can flatten this and make it as a circle or you can put this into the corner and just uh, fold this to the other side and make it little um, like a half a circle like this and press it in the sandwich press it's up to you to decide which way you are going to do it so I'm going to do the whole lot once ready spray the pita pockets nicely and put it in the sandwich press if you like you can spray the sandwich press too so put it and cook that about two to three minutes I finished doing several and I cut one to show you how it looks like and it's really nice and crispy and I hope you will enjoy this recipe thank you for watching